got to make it. Now let's give the Lord a great big praise. Tell somebody I have to make it. How many of you know that today? How many of you know that today? Amen. My friend, we're happy to bring to you this ministry of faith, power, and deliverance from the St. Mark Church of Holiness. And so frequently we say it is the church which is consistently teaching and preaching Bible holiness, and that is in accordance with the Word of God. We count it a privilege once again to bring to you this ministry. We say to you the Word of God is right. Somebody has to be wrong. We give him praise for Jesus Christ, which is the head of our lives. And certainly, my friend, those of you that stand in need of a miracle, stay tuned for about the next, praise the Lord, 43 minutes, and you will be blessed, amen, with the word of God, that you may have faith in Jesus Christ. The Bible says, so that faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Lord. So you may dial these prayer line numbers right below me on the screen. I know that God will bless you, my friend, because God is doing wonderful things in this day and time in spite of what the devil is saying. We're going to St. John. I'd like to go quickly to the word. St. John, the book of St. John. Amen. The 14th chapter, a very familiar passage of scripture. But we're just delighted to bring to you this Bible holiness restoration hour, bringing people back to holiness. We say so frequently, and there's a spiritual motto here, amen, that holiness is the only way to heaven through Jesus Christ. We want you to know that today. A lot of people think they can get to heaven some other kind of way. But Jesus said, except you come in through the door, praise our God. He said, I am the door. Amen. And any man that enter in will go in and out and find pastor. We're thankful to God for how he's blessed us. If you're listening to us in the Tupelo area, may God bless you. Amen. Don't forget that new time there, an entire hour of Bible holiness ministry coming your way. Also in Hazelhurst, may the Lord bless you. And all the way up to Jackson, Miss, I'm certainly thanking God for all of your correspondence with this ministry. St. John 14, 27, what does the Bible say? with you. Do you believe Jesus said that? Yes. Peace I leave with you. My peace mm -hmm. I give unto you. And then he personalized it. He said, my peace yes. give I unto you. Is that what he said? Yes. Come on, read it. Not as the, not as the world gives it. Not as the world gives it. Tell somebody, say, not as the world gives it. I don't know about you. I don't want the world's peace at yeah. if, if you, if you see, the world's peace is based on money and sex and everything that's not like God. So Jesus had to make a distinction. He said, not as the world give unto you. I'm going to give you peace, but not as the world give unto you. I mean, hear what I'm saying? Now, look what it say. What does it say? Read it. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. Mm -hmm. Neither let it be afraid. Touch somebody say, my heart's not troubled. I say, and my heart is not afraid. Aren't you grateful to that today? Now, now, as you know, as you know, Jesus, Jesus left a legacy, amen, here uh, on the earth. And that's why he was getting ready to go away. And he was speaking some of his farewell statements. And he said, my peace I leave unto you. I'm thankful that God left peace. See, I, I don't know about you. I'm not going to let the devil steal my peace. I'm not, I'm not going to let him disturb me. I'm not going to let him get me upset. I'm not going to let him get me crazy and wacky and cracky and all other kind of ways that I got to take some medicine to calm down because of the world situation. Not when Jesus left the legacy and said, my peace. I'm going to leave with you my peace. Is that what he said? Amen. I'm glad he left peace here. Because, honey, what's going on now, your mind would have flipped out and tripped out, and you would have been messed up, amen, just like the world. The saints have peace. Look at somebody say, the saints have peace. Peace is a promise to the believers. I'm not, I'm, I'm not about to let demons and devils, all kind of spirits come against my life. Amen, and disturb me and get me all flaky and crazy and out of whack and cause me to say things that I regret, cause me to do things that I know I got to repent of, not when God have left peace through Jesus Christ on this earth. Can we say amen? 
Well, the Bible is plain in Isaiah 26 and 3 that will keep him. Look what he said. In perfect peace whose mind is stayed on the... See, that's what's wrong with a lot of folk. They don't have no peace. And honey, when you don't have no peace, you listen, you're going to be messed up in this world. See, in this world, Jesus said, in the world, you will have tribulation. He said, but in me, you will have peace. Be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. And I was listening to God. See, God talks to his people. How I many you know God talks to his people? And Jesus said, my sheep, they hear my voice. And a stranger, they will not follow. See, the devil's not going to come to give you peace. I don't care what you say. The devil's not going to give you, amen, calmness and quietness and serenity and tranquility. He comes to disturb you and keep you upset. Amen. See, anytime, anytime something try to keep you upset, it ain't nothing but the devil. The devil, honey, he'll use anybody he can. Somebody close to you. Somebody far from you. Some other acquaintance. He'll use the children. He'll use the dog. He'll, he'll use anything that cause you to lose your peace. But you ought to tell somebody, I'm not going to lose my peace. Because I got peace in the midst of the storm. Tell somebody, say, peace in the midst of the storm. Hallelujah. I, I listen, I'm at a place in Christ Jesus, no matter what happens in life, no matter how devastating it is, no matter how atrocious it is, no matter how severe it is, I've learned to maintain, amen, a mental contact with the Lord. I've learned to keep my mind stayed on him. I've learned to say, Lord, it's happening, but it's peace in you in the midst of the storm. In spite of what, and see, the devil's job is to do that. What did it say in St. John 10 and 10? The thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and to destroy. But look what Jesus said. I've come that you might have light and that you might have it more abundantly. He said, my peace give I unto you. Tell somebody it's a gift. It's a gift from God. Honey, listen, you cannot buy peace. I don't care how many, listen, I don't care how many pills you take. That's not true peace. That's not true peace because after those pills wear off, honey, I don't, uh, listen, that, that, old, that old nervous system go act up. But honey, when you get inward peace by the Holy Ghost, when you get peace by the Word of God, when you get peace through Jesus Christ, you have peace in the midst of the storm. And tell somebody the storm is coming. Yes, honey, the, it comes in sometime, and listen, lightning is flashing, and thunder is roaring, and the devil is fighting, and the devil is talking, and well, you're not going to do this, you're not going to make it here, look how bad it looks, look how traumatic it is, look how severe it is, you're not going to make it, but tell somebody, say, I have peace in the midst of the storm. And I heard that old boy saying, you've been in the storm. Is that what he said? Tell somebody, say, too long. Hey, bless thy God. Say, too long. Oh, you got to get some peace. Tell somebody, I need some peace in the midst of the storm. Hallelujah. The peace of God. What did he say? Which passes all understanding will keep your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus our Lord. Honey, I got peace. I don't care what anybody say. Devil say, you don't have no peace. I say, devil, you a liar. Honey, I'm calm as a cucumber. I'm, I'm calm. And, I, and somebody say, I'm just cool. Well, you can be cool if you want to. But honey, when you're calm and collective and got your act together and not going to let a demon or a devil come and upset the apple cart, disturb your mind, mess you up, get your thoughts running wild. You have peace in the midst. Hey, hallelujah. Tell somebody peace in the midst of the storm. You can see it on people's faces, on their continents. People's faces are, are, are just messed up. Their continents is just disfigured and disturbed. You, you see pressure on them. They say, they say, they say they have the Lord. I have the Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, listen, honey, that don't mean nothing. Folks spitting in tongue everywhere. I'm talking about real peace. The, the kingdom of God is not meat and drink. What is it? Right. Y'all don't want this. Righteousness, peace, and what? Joy in the Holy Ghost. You have the Holy Ghost. You have peace. You have the spirit of Christ. You have peace. Praise our God. 
because the Bible says unto us a son is given unto us a child is born and the government shall rest upon his shoulders and he should be called wonderful counselor what else Prince of Peace is that what he's called everlasting father is that what he's called mighty God can we say hallelujah and the Bible lets us know it says of the increase of his government amen and his peace there shall be no end he said did you ever read that in Isaiah 9 and his peace he said there shall be no end we're going to a kingdom where there's no end to peace I don't care how the world is upside down I don't care how the world is, is, is messed up and in a state of conflict it doesn't make no difference what people in the world are going through honey they're not going to have no no peace the Bible said there's no peace to the wicked but thank God I'm not wicked thank God that I'm saved by the Holy Ghost and through the name of Jesus Christ clap your hands say peace in the midst of the storm how many going through something tell somebody say I'm going through something see I might as well admit it I'm going through something some of us are going through problems we never dreamed we'd go through You'd have told us this 10 years ago. You said, no, I'm not going to go through that. But you're going through it right now. Amen. You're realizing it because it's a reality. You never dreamed you'd be, in, you'd be engaged in situations, acute situations, and problematical situations that you're engaged in now. You never dreamed that the tables were going to turn and your life was going to be turned upside down. You never dreamed that the devil was going to come against you like he's coming against you. You never dreamed. You never dreamed people would walk out on you. You never dreamed folk would treat you like they're treating you. But you can and have peace in the midst of the storm. Tell somebody say I still have peace. Oh hallelujah. Say I have peace in the midst. Look at here of the storm. When the storms are raging when when the waves amen are bestorously coming against your mind. When the devil is beating against your heart. Look like you're losing your thought order. Look like you're losing your calmness. Look like you're losing your composure. But God said I'll give you peace. Hallelujah in the midst of the storm can we say hallelujah oh i don't know about you but honey i'm gonna keep peace if i don't keep nothing else because i know you can't walk in the store down at bloomingsdale and say give me fifty dollars worth of peace you can't buy no peace that's about you can't buy no peace hey glory hallelujah but i tell people just stay with god stay in the lord and stay saved and stay with jesus hallelujah being that he's the prince of peace i'm gonna stay with the prince of peace can we say hallelujah i'm gonna stay with the one that's able to calm my life can we say man somebody said he's the calm before the storm he's not the calm before the storm he's the calm in the storm hey bless our god tell somebody he's the calm in the storm Oh, clap your hand and give him some praise. Can we say amen, somebody? It's a legacy. Tell somebody it's a legacy. Jesus left the legacy right here in the 14th chapter of St. John in the 27th verse. Peace I have. What did he say? Peace I have with you. Amen. Amen. Peace I leave with you. Amen. And my peace give I unto you. You Listen, you can get terrible, you can get terrible, terrible statements mentioned to you. You can get terrible reports in life. See, who have believed the report of the Lord? You can get reports where, amen, the things that are devastating stayed into your life and you say Lord I never dreamed that was gonna come about oh but listen you gotta have peace in the midst of the storm cuz the devil gonna talk anyhow the devil gonna say things anyhow and when you get those when you get those reports oh this is happening and don't let it be a bad doctor's report don't don't let it be a bad medical report some of us get bad medical reports we say oh I don't know what to do well listen you better turn to Jesus you better turn to the Lord he's able to keep you in the midst of the storm there's a storm raging in everybody's life everybody that's saved everybody that loved the Lord that's a storm raging come on say man and the devil is riding the head of that storm and the devil is saying I know I was gonna get you amen if I couldn't get you one way I'm gonna get you another way but God wants you to know you have peace today in him you have peace today in his word for the scripture says in Romans 5 and 1 therefore being justified by faith we have peace with God through our Lord and and Savior Jesus Christ I'm not gonna let demons steal my peace I'm 
I'm not going to let folk come up and tell me things, amen, and take my peace. I don't care how you talk about that. I don't care how you ridicule me. I don't care how you distort and assassinate my name. Nothing going to take the peace of God out of my life. Can we say hallelujah? Amen. Listen, listen. The psychiatric wards in the hospitals are full. The mental institutions. Do you know Illinois is building more mental institutions? You know why? Because more folk going crazy. More folk losing their peace. Amen. But God said, I'll keep you with peace. God said, I'll sustain you with peace. And great peace have they which love thy law. He said, and nothing shall offend them. Can we say hallelujah? Nothing shall cause them to slide back. Nothing shall cause them to take down because they have peace in the mind. They have peace in the heart. They have peace in the body. They have peace in their lives. They have peace in the Holy Ghost. Look at somebody say peace in the midst of the storm. Now clap your hand and give God some praise and tell somebody I have peace in the midst of the storm. How many of you ever gone through a storm? Look at somebody say I've gone through the storm. And honey, the storm was not kind to you. You, you. you went through the storm, and the storm brought a turmoil. Amen. A turbulence. The storm brought a disruption in your life that you never dreamed would happen to you. See, that's the amazing thing about it. When the devil does things that you think would never happen to you, that's when you have to hold on to peace. That's when you have to say, Lord, you gave me peace. <laughs> Hallelujah. For the Bible said he giveth his beloved not only sleep, but peace. Can we say? hallelujah God said I give you peace because I know you're gonna go through something I know you're gonna be entangled and engaged with the mess of this life and God let us know through the apostle and everyone that live godly in Christ he said shall suffer persecution I've never seen the devil fight like he's fighting now I've never seen the devil talk like he's talking now he's after your soul he's after your life he's after your heart he's after after anything he can get can we say hallelujah oh bless our God but I said Lord you're able to keep me Lord you're able to sustain me Lord you're able to hold me up and cause me to hang in there you're able to bless me when it looked like all peace is gone the storm is raging hallelujah you said you'll give me peace in the midst of the storm say it I said say it Tell somebody say I have it on the inside. Can we say man? The devil is fighting. Look at somebody say the devil is fighting. Honey, he's fighting families. The devil is tearing up families. The devil is tearing up marriages. The devil is tearing up mental stability. Can we say man? He's killing the young folk. He's taking their lives away from the world. And the Bible said death has come up into the windows. Can we say hallelujah? They're not only dying from drugs. They're not only dying from overdose. They're not only dying from whiskey. Honey, but they're dying in car crashes. They're dying in all type of gun battles can we say hallelujah and I'd like to say to the people out there that have lost a young loved one God said he'll give you peace in the midst of the storm he said I know you're going through tell somebody I know you're going through the midst of the storm and the devil is fighting and the devil want to take you out the devil wants your soul the devil wants your mind can we say hallelujah but I told the Lord I'm going to Hang in there, and I'm going to wait on you. Yeah, I'm saying, yeah, because I had peace. Show up, Hey, that's our God. Tell somebody I had peace in the midst of the storm. Can we say glory? He gave me peace like a river. Can we say, yeah, hey, good God Almighty. Somebody wonder why we praise him so much. Because we have peace. Why do we love him so much? Because we have peace. Why do we shout and dance and leap and run through the church? Because we have peace. Say yeah. I said say yeah. And joy is the cousin of peace. Can we say hallelujah? Power is the niece of peace. Can we say glory? And God wants you to know you don't have to go out. You don't have to go down. 
down. You don't have to be like the world because I've given you peace in the midst of the storm. Can we say glory? I said say glory. I don't know about you, but tell somebody I'm not going to lose my peace. Say I'm not going to give it up. I'm not going to let the devil take it. Can we say glory? I fought too hard for it. I prayed for it. I fasted for it. I've given up the world. Yeah. Hey, hallelujah. Tell somebody I have peace. Say peace in the midst of the storm. The devil don't want you to have peace. Because when you have peace, you're full with calmness. You're full with serenity. When you have peace, hallelujah, it's the absence from conflict. It's the absence from war. It's the absence from disturbance. Can we say glory? And God wants you to know, if you're my child, I promise you peace. Tell somebody say peace. It's a promise from the Holy Ghost. It's a promise from the Lord. God said my mouth has spoken it and I shall bring it to pass. Yeah. I'm saying yeah. People want peace. So they turn to drugs. Can we say glory? They get the crack. They get the marijuana. They get the sticks to take a hit. Can we say glory? But I tell you, when the dirt rolled out, when the drugs were out, when the crack were off, when the marijuana were off, you have the same problems that you had before you took it. Yeah. I've never given my life to a mess like that. I said I'd rather fight than switch. Say glory. Say glory. Devil. I said devil. I'm not going to let you take me down. I'm not going to let you take me under. Can we say yeah? You can beat me down. You can walk on me. You can kick me. But hallelujah. I'll rise again. Yeah. Say yeah. I'll get up with a praise. I'll get up with a shout. I'll get up with a dance. Ow! Hey, say peace, say peace, say peace in the midst of the storm. Clap your hand, give him some glory, and say yeah. I want to hear you say yeah. You want to say yeah. Ow! Woo! Hey, look at somebody say, I have him. Say, I'm not trying to find him. It's on the inside. It's in my heart. It's in my life. It's in my mind. It's in my soul. Yeah. Say yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said yeah, 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 yeah. Tell them I have peace. Tell somebody I have peace in the midst of the storm. Now wait a moment. Jesus had loose from the town, got in the boat, went out in the ocean. Can we say amen? The Bible said little ships, they followed him. I said glory. And then the Bible said there came about a great storm. The disciples got a little uneasy. They got a little nervous. Jesus and went to the back of the boat and laid down and went to sleep. They began to shake him. Master, master, cares I'm not that we perish. Say glory. Say glory. Ow! Good God Almighty. The Bible said, Hallelujah. He woke up and said, Oh ye of little faith. Can we say glory? How is it that you have no faith? You know what he said? Peace. Be still. Spoke to the wind. Spoke to the ocean. Spoke to the waves. Peace. Be still. He's the prince of peace. He's the peacemaker. He's the peace giver. He's the peace survivor. Say glory. Say glory. Peace. Say peace. Tell somebody I have peace in the midst of trouble, in the midst of problems, in the midst of situations. Gotta go to court. I have peace. Got to stand before the judge. I have peace. Gotta go the last mile of the way. I have peace. Say peace. Hey. 
peace. Say peace. Wow. Put your hand together. Say I have peace in the midst. Hey. Oh. Hey. Why don't you tell them I have peace? Yeah. Can I get a witness? Tell somebody don't lose your peace. Don't give it up. Don't sell it. Don't trade it in. Can we say man? Jesus. Can you say Jesus is the peace giver? Jesus is our peace. Say yeah. I got peace in him in the midnight hour. When I go to bed, everybody sleep. I'm laying there. My eyes wide open. My mind alert. I'm saying thank you for your peace in the midst of the storm. In the midst of confusion. Jobs going out. People jumping out of hotel windows. Uh, giving up their lives, uh, committing suicide. Uh, I have peace uh, in my body. Uh, I have peace uh, in my soul. Uh, I'll call on him. Uh, I'll call on him uh, in the morning. Uh, I'll call on him uh, in the noonday. Uh, I heard David saying, uh, Early uh, will I seek you uh, while the birds uh, are twilling and eating. Uh, I'll call you. Uh, I'll call you. Uh, I'll call you. Uh, say, uh, yeah. I want to hear you say, yeah, say peace, somebody say peace, in the midst of the storm, now shake somebody's hand, give them a praise, and say peace here, say peace, he turbo, in the midst of the storm, can we say man, the devil is mad, tell somebody the devil is mad, but the saints are glad. It's the devil's job to get you disturbed. It's the devil's job to mess with your mind. He got to get in your mind. But Jesus is a sustainer and under him that's able to keep us from falling and present us faultless before his presence with glory and exceeding joy. Yeah, I say yeah. I'm not gonna let another person come up to me and mess up my life. When somebody say, how's your day? I say, it is well. Tell somebody it is well. That's what the woman told Elijah. Hallelujah. When he asked her, how is it with your husband? It is well. Well, how about you? It is well. Her son was dead. How's it with your son? It's well. Hey, hey, hey. It's well. Why is it well? Because I got peace in my life. I got peace in in the morning, I got peace in the noonday when the enemy come in like a rushing mighty flood. I have the spirit, the spirit of peace will lift up a standard against that devil. Say yeah, say yeah. All around me, walls of fire. All around me, walls of protection. All around me, I'm hid on his fetters. Put your hand together, say I have peace. Tell somebody say I have peace in the midst of the storm. Hallelujah. Can you say hallelujah? Say hallelujah. Say glory. It's a blessing from God. Tell somebody it's a blessing from God. Psalm 29 and 11. Can we say man church? Ay, 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 ay. Hey, Tobosa. Hallelujah. When you got the Holy Ghost. Tell somebody when you have the Holy Ghost. You got peace in you? Can we say man? Because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. You're not going to let devils and demons come against your life and speak words into your heart. Because don't forget, as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. If the devil upsets you, he got you where he wants you. He can come in for the kill. Can we say glory? But God said, I I told you to put on the whole armor, put on the defense, put on the proper uniform that you can fight against the devil. And when you've done all you could to stand, stand, therefore, yeah, say, yeah, I 
heard him saying, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Can we say, go away, you veterans here, you veterans in television, man, I tell you, don't let the devil take you out after 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, walking with God, walking with Christ, in fellowship with the Spirit, anointed by God, and don't forget, I got to say it again, because of the anointing, every yoke, say every yoke, shall be the circle. Wow! Tell them, say, shall be destroyed. Hey! Put your hand together, say, I have peace. Shake some of my hands, say, I have peace. In the midst of the storm, Elder, I have peace. Look at somebody, say, I have peace. Let the television audience know you have peace in the midst of the storm. Can I get a witness? Yeah. I say, yeah. Oh, there's happiness here. There's life here. There's joy here. There's righteousness. There's contentment. There's satisfaction. There's love. Yeah. I say, yeah. And the Bible said, if you get a little weak, let the weak say that I'm strong. Yeah. Say, yeah. The devil might cause you to back up. The devil might knock you down. But bounce down. Bounce back like a rubber ball. Tell the devil, I still have peace. I haven't lost my peace. I haven't gotten upset. I haven't gotten disturbed. I haven't gone all kind of ways. But God sustained me. God kept me. God kept me holy. God kept me with a mind. Stayed on him. Say yeah. Say yeah. Lift your hand. Say yeah. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Woo. Tell somebody, say, I had peace. Say, I had peace. In the midst of the storm. Can we say man? Can we say man? Look at this. I want to read the scripture. Hallelujah. Can we say hallelujah? I'm in the book of Isaiah, the 48th verse. I need a witness here. Do you have peace? The devil's mad at you. Honey, he's mad at you when you have peace. What you doing sitting over there? Nothing's moving you. You can come through here with a locomotive and it won't disturb you. Well, I have an undisturbing spirit. Can we say amen? I have a spirit of the Holy Ghost that won't let the devil just do anything to me. Can we say amen? You ain't no sense you sitting there crying. Sitting there like a spiritual baby with a lollipop crying and so oh Lord, honey God don't need cry babies honey it's time to stand up and be counted say yeah you got to go through the battles and what did the song say the battle is not yours but the battle is the Lord's say yeah oh good God Almighty I've learned to gird up gird up my lines get my mind straight get my heart straight and tell the Lord I'm pressing toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God it's not time to look at other folk going down missing out being disappointed it's not time for listening to flesh because the Bible said in 1st Corinthians 129 that no flesh should glory in his presence and let him that glory let him glory in the Lord yeah you have to praise him a little more you have to thank him a little more you have to leap and jump a little more and tell the devil I'm not gonna let you just kill me I'm not gonna take it laying down my soul is anchored in the Lord my heart has been fixed my mind made up I'm going all the way I'm going all the way I'm going all the way with the almost hey touch somebody say I'm going all the way say with the Lord 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 Wow! 
Hallelujah. How many going all the way? How many going all the way? The peace of God, which passes all understanding. Hallelujah. That's mean all human understanding. Somebody say all human understanding. Hallelujah. Will keep your hearts and your minds safe. Somebody say safe. In the union with Christ. That's what it'll do for you. I know it said it'll keep your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus, but that's what it's saying. It'll keep you in union with Christ. And who should be able to separate us, Hosha, from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus? He said, neither death nor height. Did he say that? Neither pearl, neither sword, neither famine, principalities, nakedness. Nothing should be able to separate us. Can we say hallelujah? I love Jesus so much. Honey, I give my life for him. I love Jesus so much. I say, take all my riches. Take all that I have. But give me Jesus. Say yeah, yeah, and somebody wrote a song and said I love him more than anything. You got to get it on the inside. It has to be internalized in your body because your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Can we say glory? What you have of God, you're not your own, but you're bought with a price. So glorify God in your body, in your spirit, which is God. Say it. I said say it. Tell somebody peace. I have peace is on the inside even in the midst of the storm peace like a river flowing throughout my system throughout my mind say yeah psychologically I'm perfectly sound hallelujah mentally I have a sound mind because God have not given us the spirit of fear but power he said love and a sound mind say yeah Say it. Hallelujah. Tell somebody peace surrounds me. Peace is in my life. Say peace is with feet. What you mean that? Your feet are shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Say it. Yeah. Say it. I wouldn't give it up for all the tea in China. I wouldn't give it up for all the rice in Japan. I'm peace. I was upset on my job. I was upset in my life, in my marriage, in everything. But the devil told me, you're on my hit list. Say glory. I said, say glory. But God intervened. God came in. God sow the seeds. God send a word. God send an anointing. God send a power. Ah! Woo! Hey! Hey! Got somebody say God. Say God. Say God. He makes the difference. I feel like shout. Amen, church. Let's say amen. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey. Look at this. Woo. Hallelujah. Isaiah 48. Isaiah 48 and 18. Can we say glory? Somebody that love them say glory. Ooh, 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 ooh. Say glory. Glory. Tell somebody the devil uh, is a liar uh, and the truth uh, is in Jesus Christ because uh, he is uh, our peace. Uh, say uh, I have peace uh, in Jesus uh, long as I'm wrapped up uh, and tied up uh, and sold up uh, in Jesus. Uh, I have peace. Uh, I told him uh, I won't leave you uh, because I know uh, you won't leave me. Uh, I need uh, peace in this life. Uh, I need uh, peace in my mind. Uh, I need uh, peace in my thoughts. Uh, I need uh, peace in my heart. Uh, clap your hands, say glory. Somebody pray them and say glory. Hey, my friend Pastor Terry is happy to bring to you.